Tonight, it's Madden NFL Football. Super Bowl 57. Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Baltimore Ravens, taking on the chance from the other side, the NFC, the Arizona Cardinals. for the big one. Super Bowl 57. Away we go from Arizona. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result when he opted for the touchback. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. Allow me a second here to gush because in his college career, the only player in NCAA history to rush for over 1,500 yards and pass for over 3,500 yards in a season. And he did it twice. That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> Yet he only won the Heisman Trophy once. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. The 28-yard line. A gain of two. From the gun, Jackson. They'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Great first drive defensively. Third and short, able to stuff the run. And what it does is it gives not just confidence to your defensive players, it gives an overall feeling of, okay, we've established things here early. We can carry this throughout the game. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Pulled in at the 24. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. Brings up second and nine. James White's first carry. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. He was brought down by Malik Harrison. A one-yard pickup brings up third. Throwing is Murray on third down. 
receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Shotgun now for Murray. Open man is Kirk complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the gun, Murray. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's second down and 10. On the toss, Drake going left. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Cardinals three, Ravens nothing. Every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. Mark that too. <laughs> Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. <laughs> on the handoff, it's Geis. Oh, and breaks another. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Byron Murphy on the tackle. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Out of the gun, Geis. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A gain of five. First down, Ravens. Now a run with Geis. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out.
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And now Jackson will look to throw it. That's going to be incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33 yard line. For Taylor Gabriel. Buda Baker there on the cover. Throwing again. Jackson. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Well, that doesn't start out a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. From the gun, it's Jackson. Hits his target, it's Taylor Gabriel. And he will have the Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Let me out, partner. Did they use up all their juice on second down when they got the sack? Because on third down, zero pressure all the time in the world. And he picks up the first down with that throw. Second and a couple. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Geis with a carry on second down, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. A gain of four yards. First down, Raven. Throwing is Jackson. Flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Chandler Jones gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a gain of four, but they're still looking up here at a tough third and 11. It's a gain of four. And it's Jackson from the shotgun. Now they're staring at fourth down. Arizona's defense does its job. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on me. I was. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. I mean, people say you're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And they'll run the option to start the drive. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. He was taken down behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 24-yard line.
defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. Three, three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Three, three. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. run got three now here's second and seventh from the gun Jackson that's complete to his running back J.K. Dobbins and he'll take this to the side of midfield before going out of bounds it's a pickup of 17 and a first down another catch for him there on this drive Brandon it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can and that time they pick up a first down so now on defense do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Adam Gatsis, the Aussie, with a sack. And for the defense, their third sack of the game. That number tells you that they're starting to put it together with their defensive game plan. They're starting to feel pretty good about what the offense is doing, bringing the pressure at the right time, and putting the quarterback on the ground. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Shotgun handoff now to Geis. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. Nice pickup for a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. At the operating from the gun. Jackson. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 49-yard line. Everson Griffin, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about it, every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Hey, man, let's play our game. 
so that'll back him up five. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goalpost. And the Ravens strike first at threes in. Ravens six, Cardinals three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs. And hopefully flip the field. Just something to beat. That's what they're looking for here. That will wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Murray getting this out wide to Hopkins. A gain of six there on first. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. On second down, it's Drake. They give him about four the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Murray to give. This is Drake. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. The ball carrier. Second down and five. At the 32 yard line. A gain of five brings up second and on second down. Here's a keeper by the QB. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard down to the 31. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 21. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. down Murray and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down Justin Matabike showing his strength and quickness there a loss of four well this has been a pretty sizable drive they've had some success finally the defensive coordinator found some success of his own I think he just simply said enough of that okay they've moved the ball well we need to force the issue from our end and that's exactly what he did Thank you. 
Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Another try after the first down sack. Murray is going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. Murray's pass. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll be third and ten now. It's a game of four. Brings up third and ten. From the gun, Murray will roll him out right. He made Murray fighting. Lost the football. And the Ravens have got it. Think about it, Charles. This is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot. In that time, he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get into the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. He'll start with a handoff to Dobbins. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brought down at the 18-yard line. Operating for the go, Jackson. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. It's third down. On third down, Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. the quarterback keep it here on first and 10 and he'll take this one up close to about the 45 two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight well every now and then we have to let a cliche fly partner and in this case what do they say in the nfl your best ability is often your availability and this is an extremely durable kid coming out of ohio state carried the ball every time they even thought about running it wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. This pass complete, Jackson finding Andrews. And he's going to get this deep on Arizona's side of the field. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 41 yards. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards and 1,000 or more rushing yards in the same season. And we see both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass. And everyone knew coming out of college he could run the ball. But for some reason, we didn't analyze the throwing the way we should have. I think every time he completes a pass, he says to himself, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl, as the Ravens push further out in front. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet, or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And it's up and good to make the score 13 to three. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this carries into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, 
it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. From the gun, Murray got a man over the middle. It's Williams. Murray, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. down instead it's four formation fair to say hasn't been his best game throwing the football but also not getting a lot of help out there either yeah you kind of you nailed it pretty well you know <laughs> he's got to throw it better got to get more help obviously one that should have been caught they got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one this Ravens offense heads back out there, led by Lamar Jackson. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Jackson, man open left side is Brown. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Open man, Taylor Gabriel. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pickup there, 26 yards. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. on first down. That's taken in by DuVernay. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And the lead stretches. 16-3 now. Ravens 16 Cardinals three. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field goals. Oh, Brandon, but with six? Let's hope we don't get that again, please. <laughs> can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. 25 yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. From the 30 on second down, Murray. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. And it's third and five. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And we will not see a return to start the half, as this will be a touchback. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Murray and 
the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he'll drop here to throw. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And now look at this. Big game. A fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there's a fumble. Good news for them, at least. That went out of bounds. You're exactly right. And as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. Murray now on first down. And a tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been any. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He was covered by Patrick Queen. To throw on third down. Murray. He can run for it, and he will. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. The Ravens take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Ravens' offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their... Oh, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35, and they will score. It's a pick six. Touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. up this is good and it makes it a 16 to 10 game now so the defense creating some points not only getting the interception but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six so they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six and now the kick is away fielded just outside the goal line now a crease here as he's past the 30 and all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 34. Back to the air, Jackson following the pick six. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Jackson now. snap he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball but surprise that guy was covered so that took his attention elsewhere to no avail Jackson they set up the screen for Dobbins he's got a first down and then some at midfield and all the way down to the 17 yard line a huge play there on the screen pass 44 yards that's 
why you call a screen. You want to catch a defense overcommitting. Plenty of space available, and that matched up perfectly. What a convoy he got downfield to pick up big yardage on that play. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll hand it out to Geis. They'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. From 17 yards out, and the Ravens will extend their lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are gonna go for the two-point conversion. From the gun, Jackson, and he's got it. So the try for two is successful, and that bumps their lead up even further. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Penalty markers down on the field. Yeah, they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Shotgun now for Murray. He completes it right side of lane. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun, Murray. The pass complete to Hakeem Butler. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. First down, Drake. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. On the tackle. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Now an option play on second down. And he's going to get this down near the 30 yard line. They can execute the run pass option like that. It puts the defense in a really, really tough spot. The running ability of Kyler Murray makes defensive coordinators and players crazy because essentially now you have an extra running back there. So if he keeps it, you've got a problem. If he hands it inside, you're probably not ready for it because you have all your focus back on number one. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Murray. This is White on the screen. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. A screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Oh, a battle for here, and this will be caught. And able to get him down, but he does 
reach the five. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in this Super Bowl. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Extra point try by Bailey. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. And Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Take it in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. And they'll begin by running the option. before he gets out of bounds. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment, running plays like this, and they still worry about it. But when you can break up big chunks of yardage like that, it's worth the risk. Plus, you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Give them maybe a yard. Quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Brings up second and nine. At the 20. On second and nine. Jackson. They almost had it defensively. It could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Jackson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. So out comes the field goal team once more. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. Ravens 27, Cardinals 17. So making four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives have bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. 26-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, 
you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting out the shorts. A huge play there for Arizona. 56 yards. Not sure exactly what he saw that made him decide to hand it off, but a great decision and a fantastic run. From our vantage point, what he saw was a defense that got out of its lanes, got out of its gaps, and they were pretty much running to the quarterback, viewing him as the bigger threat. And look at that wide open space, and he rumbled for big time yardage. break one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little gain it's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four and a lot of times these plays they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage and here they got to the outside turned it upfield and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it on second down and four he was trying to get it to Hakeem Butler there and it's third and four Operating from the gun, Murray. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Murray, it'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. From the gun, Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk for a Cardinals touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. point and the lead is down to a field goal now so the drive there took six plays and it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona Outside the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. First down 10 at their own 28 yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They'll start out here with the option left. Space to maneuver at the 40. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Jackson on first down. And it's incomplete. Devin Duvernay, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Incomplete. To throw again. Jackson toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Coverage by Byron Murphy. Jackson now to throw on third down. He gets it to Brown. Complete. And he will have a 
Jackson's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jackson on target to Brown for a Ravens first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. On first down, this is Geis. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Jackson off to Geis on the screen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Complete. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Brings up second and two at the Cardinals 16-yard line. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. This is Geis. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run with Dobbins. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. touchdown taking it about the one and a decent return out to the 27 yard line first and 10 at their own 27 yard line Christian Kirk and company heading back onto the field they have to like what they've gotten from him in this game think about the accumulation of catches eight the yards per catch now, because you get more than a first down every time he's touching the ball. This is the kind of game you want when you're able to throw it out wide. Absolutely. Over 100 yards, has the eight catches. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Back to the air on second down. It's more. Incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. Third down here. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Now they set up the screen. That's complete. White's got a first down and more. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. He 
17 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. On, this possession on. means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. First and ten, here's Murray. And this one's incomplete. Murray's pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Brings up second and throwing again. Murray. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And this one's gonna go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yard. And terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. That last catch winds up costing him three, so now they'll need to convert on third and 13. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Murray sliding out of the pocket. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Jackson from the shotgun. And they'll get him down Pass the 15, just shy of the 20. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First down, Baltimore. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. A gain of a yard. Brings up second. Here's Geis. At the 20-yard line. Darius Geis, the ball carrier. Tackled at the 25-yard line. A five-yard. The Ravens on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Jackson. He gets his underneath to Dobbins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. But normally you might.
might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? At this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Guys. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. A gain of three, second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Jackson going to look to do it himself. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable, but that time the defense was on to him. And partner, I think the more you see him play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. The Ravens on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and 11. Operating from the gun, Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? the ground it's guys it's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three Buda Baker on the tackle it's a gain of seven brings up second and three At the again they run again it's guys and for one of the first times tonight he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go and they'll try and run the option to pick it up. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Here's Sam Cook now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. 21-yard line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And we're at the time in this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. From the gun, Murray. And rifles one incomplete. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Makes it second and ten at the 21-yard line. To throw again, Murray. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Patrick Queen, his second sack of the night. My oh man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Now Murray. Now they go screen. It's complete. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're going to tell you. You can have six, seven yards. Do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've got to start attacking vertically a lot more. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. 
They're going for it. It's Murray. He can run for it, and he will. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Move it around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Murray's throw on target to Christian Kirk. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 more yards. Back to throw. Murray, 11 more on that one. And another first down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Open man is Kirk, complete. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Murray to throw. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 25-yard line. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> And the lead is down to a field goal now. A 10-play drive that time. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. 31. Time definitely of the essence now. Just under a minute to play, and here we go. And who's got it? I think the Ravens do, yes. And they're going to win this football game. That fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They'll run with Geis. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Here's second and five now from the 37. They stay on the ground, Geis again, and he'll take this one down to the 36. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. And they'll indeed take a knee. So here comes Justin Tucker in a big spot. This from 54 yards away. That's running out of steam and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and this score will stay right where it is. 34, Cardinals 31. Well, listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their 
their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. And it's all over. Just one is left standing, and that one is the Baltimore Ravens, your Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports